schools not doing enough to protect students from lead in drinking water. That's what a new report shows. KCAL 9's Anna Werner shows us one group is pushing schools and the federal government to take action. <laughs> I guess. In her Boston home, Julie Ma preps water bottles for her five and six year old daughters to take to school the next day. Their elementary school's water fountains were turned off due to lead contamination. We had gotten a letter from the superintendent saying that her school was one of the schools that tested above the 15 parts per billion um, and that as a precaution they were turning off all water fountains even though it was only one fountain that was tested. That was three years ago. Since then, the district has brought in bottled water for students to drink. It's concerning. A new review of school drinking water standards in 31 states and the District of Columbia finds regulations in most states are too weak to protect children from lead contamination in their school's water. John Rumpler co-authored the report. Of the 32 states, including the District of Columbia that we surveyed, 22 of them are failing to protect their kids from lead in drinking water. The problem? The group says it's the fixtures, fountains, faucets, and other parts that contain lead. The report cites an Ohio school drinking fountain that had more than 100 times the EPA's lead action level for tap water, an Illinois school at 212 times that level, and one drinking fountain at a Massachusetts school with nearly 1,500 times the lead action level. All of those have been replaced. But the group is pushing for all schools to simply get the lead out by replacing fixtures or at a minimum installing and maintaining filters on every faucet or fountain used for cooking and drinking. Do you not think that some school districts are going to say, look, we're pressed for funds as it is. How are we going to do that? Not all communities are going to be able to tackle this problem on their own. And that's why we're excited to see states that are stepping up and showing leadership in helping communities invest in reducing this problem. But Rumpler says the federal government needs to step up too with more funding and a stricter standard for lead. On Wednesday, EPA Administrator Andrew Wheeler told CBS News he plans to update drinking water regulations. Regulation that hasn't been updated in over 20 years. And this is a proposal that we're going to be putting out this summer that I think is going to help a, a lot of areas uh, make sure and, and ensure the public that they have safe drinking water. Pediatric experts say there is no safe level of lead exposure for children. It impacts their growth and learning. Anna Werner, New York.